guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it is six o'clock, it's time for a Magic Live. Today I'm gonna to be performing a routine by Cameron Francis. Um, I've adapted it and changed it, uh, but 90% of it is all Cameron. It is a wonderful routine, and I'm here with Reagan. Reagan, I know you don't like shuffling cards on camera, so yeah. I will give them a shuffle for you. Okay. Um, but uh, I want you to see that they are normal, regular pack of playing cards. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna show you the difference, because there is a difference, I'm going to show you the difference between magic and mind reading. Because uh, a lot of people say, well, as a magician, does that mean you can read minds? And magicians can do sort of mental magic, not necessarily pure mind reading, uh, but we can kind of do mental magic. But I'm going to show you the difference between sort of mind reading and, and magic. And, mm -hmm. and, okay. So, um, ma men mind reading, mentalism, it's all about making predictions ahead of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, three predictions. I'm going to take three cards out. I'm going to take three lots of three cards out. That's the first lot. I'm going to take out a second lot there. And th this, is, this is going to be a prediction of something that I think is going to happen in a bit. Yeah, and that's perfect. I'll take that one out as well. So I've got three, three kind of predictions there. I've got this one here, this one here. And finally, I've got this one here, okay? Yeah. Now, uh, we need a mystery card, mm -hmm. a card that's going to, uh, uh, this is gonna kind of represent the unknown future. Okay, okay so we're gonna need a, uh, a mystery card. And again, it doesn't really matter which what the card is. I'll cut cards onto the table, just say stop. Stop. There, you sure? Yeah. So we'll put that mystery card right there. You happy with that? Yeah. So we've got mystery card, we've got three predictions. Now, finally, we need another three cards picked. Um, so, uh, just say stop. Stop. Perfect. Do you want all three cards from here, or do you want to pick from three different places? All three cards from there. So, one, two, three. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Don't look at the cards just yet. Okay. But mix them up face down, without looking at them, so that they're in no particular... I, mean, I will look away while you're doing that. I don't want to know the order they're in. Are you happy? Yeah. Cool. Now, uh, we're going to put one on top of each packet. So, this one here, which packet would you like this on? This one. This one here? And this one goes here. Now, before I do anything else, I want this to be as fair as possible. You decided to take three cards from one part of the deck. You mix them up. You decided which packet to put them on. If you want to change any of them around, you can. I'm good. Okay, cool. So would you agree that there's no way I could have known what the cards were that you put on top? Like this one here is a 10 of spades. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have known that that would be a 10 of spades. Would you agree? Yeah. Likewise, I couldn't have known that this was a queen. And likewise, in this packet, I couldn't have known that this one was a two. Would you agree? Yeah. So if I could prove to you that I knew the three cards that you would pick and the order of which package you put them on, that would be quite good, right? Yeah. Because you picked a two and put it on this packet and the three cards that I actually put down beforehand were the other three twos, which means I've got four twos. Likewise here, you put a queen down here and yet I, uh, I put down the other three queens. I knew exactly which card you would pick and where you would put it. And over here, you put a 10 and I put down the other three tens, proving I knew exactly what you would do. And that's all about mind reading. However, I'm not a mind reader. I am a magician. Magicians are all about making things disappear and appear. So, for example, I can make something appear. If I can make cards appear, that would be an example of what a magician could do. Let's look at that mystery card. The Ace of Spades. That's a good option. So that's the Ace of Spades. If I do this, and this, and this, that is an example of what a magician would do. Because now, over here, I have the, ten of, the Ace of Clubs. Over here, I have the Ace of Diamonds. And over here, I have the Ace of of hearts right weird <laughs> guys i hope you enjoyed that let me know in the comments down below what you think uh if you want to see more videos like this uh please subscribe to the channel cameron francis is a genius enough said i'll be back tomorrow with another magic live i'll see you then my name's craig from magic tv